Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Dragoon. This is Captain Ron Phillips here. How are you guys doing? Now, in the last episode, we went to Danau, the Flower City. We met up with a woman named Kate and found out that her husband, who is the son of the mayor, Lynn, has decided to run off to the Gay Rich Gang and try to get them to stay out of the town. In order to get there, we have to go through this area that's to the uh, west of uh, the Barrens here. We haven't seen that yet in the map. It is called the Valley of Corrupted Gravity. And the only way to get there is we need to get permission from the king. And the last time we were here in Flats, they weren't too keen on letting us go by. So, we're going to have to figure this out. Also, we have a new companion, the uh, very, very open, flashy, uh, well-spirited uh, well da uh, dancer, Miru. Um, yeah, she threw. I had her throw a little fit if she didn't come with us. So, so that was funny to see. And uh, so, yeah, we're gonna go in here and go into Flets, and we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get the permission of the king and do all that. And the Valley of Corrupted Gravity might be its own separate uh, episode. We'll see. We'll see how we do here. So, the Twin Castle in Flets for the king's permission. We need the permission of the Tiburon King to enter the Valley of Corrupted Gravity. Have you met him? I think I met him several times when I was little. If the King remembers you, it'll be quick. That's our King. Dignity, huh? I am not going to reveal my identity. I am not traveling as the King of Sergio. Oh, come on, Albert. You'll make this so much easier. I am traveling as your companion and as Lavitz's friend. <sighs> Could have made this a lot easier on us. So now that we got Miru, let's see if there's anything we need to put on Miru here. Since we've got the money. Definitely want to give her a night shield because her physical defense is the worst. Hey, can you get it out of our way? No. No way. No strangers can go through here. Never? Never. That big man is blocking our way. I'm going to take care of that. Ouch! I, I didn't do anything. You bumped into me by yourself. You can't enter the castle by doing that. Hey, Big Belly, why can't you let us in? Hey, Al, you are a king. Can you do something about it? Shh, that's secret. Aw, oh, come on. Dart, do something. There is no way you can let us in. There are lots of bandits walking around. I was told to never let anybody in. Can we at least send a message to the king? You are pretty. What, 
What did you say? Oops. I'm on duty. I cannot let you in. I cannot let any strangers in. What are we gonna do? Hmm. Let's retreat for now. Let's retreat for now. It's a sober judgment. Oh, finally you are leaving. Come back if you find someone to vouch for you. Nello the green planner? Do you think he knows somebody in the royal family? How about Kathy? Let's go back downtown, okay? It's a little expensive. If I curtail food... Oh, Dart! Are you looking for something? No, I am not. Oh, you look troubled. I would like to say I can help you, but... I am a little busy now. It will be over soon. If I need some materials on stars for my research. I have to look in a couple of more places. I have to go now. When I finish my errand, I'll be available. Ask me whatever you want. If I remember right, he's just right back at his house. Oh, dang it, I got stuck. Fooey. See if he went back in here by accident. No. Where is this man? Oh, he's right here. He's just up there. Oh boy, we run into each other again. Was your problem solved yet? Not yet. I guess you are the only person we can ask, Fester. I see. Fine. I've finished my errand. You can come to my house and talk. I guess I could have gone to see Nello and Kathy, but I didn't. This is just the easiest way to do it. Garage gang, I see. They must have taken one of your most important possessions. If you are thinking of venturing directly into their hideout. It's not just a memento. It means more than that to me. We're going to rescue Lynn, too. I understand. Shall we go to the castle? I can take care of it. I have a side business in addition to being an astronomer here that lets me freely enter the castle. Yes, you're a good guy, that's why. What are you doing, Fester? He's a governor. Yes, I am. You can enter the castle by mentioning my name. Oh, can't you answer some other way than that? That's boring. You... you think so? It's time to go. Let's head to the Twin Castle. Follow me. And 
he moves. You cannot go that way, Dart. Oh, okay, he won't let me go. I just gotta follow him. Oh, walk up, man. Come on. There we go. I am here, your majesty. Oh, Fester, please take care of my dear Princess Lisa for today. By the way, I think I have some problem with my eyes. I see many Festers. <laughs> King Zor, there is only one of me. These people are my friends, your majesty. Oh, indeed, there is only one Fester. And what is their request? We are here to request permission to enter the Valley of Corrupted Gravity. Mmm, Fester. I think I've heard of the Valley of Corrupted Gravity. Was it my imagination? King Zor, your ears are fine too. These people need to talk to the Gay Rich Gang. So they could so they would like to go to the Valley of Corrupted Gravity. Oh, you too. Well, the other day a young man named Lynn came to me for the same reason. It seems being a daredevil is becoming a trendy nowadays. We are not going there for a picnic. You understand all the risks? Fine. Servant, bring the pass for them. All right. Be careful. I appreciate this, Your Majesty. It is late already. Why don't you relax in the castle? I am going back to work. Princess Lisa's studies are going to very well going very well by herself. Alright. This isn't a chip from a statue. No, of course it's not. This is the way the moon tower, the elder princess Emile is on the top floor. Uh, this is the way to the star tower, the younger princess Lisa is on the top floor. Okay, I think I just need to try and leave. I don't know. There is a practice room for knights in the back. It is not open to the public. Okay, maybe I just have to try and leave. Yeah. Excuse me, your majesty, Albert. Uh-oh. Ladies made Labrera. Libri oh. I am Labrea. Labrea. Something like that. The ladies made for Princess Lisa. Princess Lisa had me call you and your company. Princess Lisa knew of our visit? She speaks with the stars and knows the future. Astrology shows her the way. This way, please. What is going on? We will find out when we meet Princess Lisa. Hmm. 
is going on here? We're outside. Welcome, Albert, the King of Sergio. I am Lisa, the younger sister of Emil. I have invited you here because I have a favor to ask of you. Hey, wait a minute. How does she know he's a king? Albert was talking about it a moment ago, wasn't he? Princess Lisa found out about it through astrology. Hold there. What the heck is astrology? It is the telling of a person's fortune from the location of the stars. And she's laughing. You have such amusing friends. <laughs> Please continue. It is about my sister, Emile. What has happened to the princess? I cannot believe that's her normal self. Oh, boy. Well, it started a half a year ago. Back then, my sister Emile was very kind, and my, or everyone in the country, admired her. It all started when the two of us went horseback riding. Suddenly, my sister Emile's horse bucked and ran away to the forest. <coughs> What about Princess Emile? It seemed that my sister lost consciousness and couldn't control the horse. I chased her with my vassals. My sister was on the ground in the forest. Fortunately, she didn't have any injuries. Everybody felt profound relief. However, when my sister Emile came to, she was a completely different person. Everyone says it is because she hid herself on, the, on her head. However, something more than her language and attitude was wrong. It was as if she was a completely different person. Does anybody doubt the change? How about King Zor? No. Instead, he was happy to see my sister Emil become so active. I heard you are heading to the Valley of Corrupted Gravity, and I have a favor to ask. I would like you to find out about the relationship between my sister Emil and the Gayrich Gang. The relationship between Princess Emil and the Gayrich? Tiberoa appears to be peaceful. However, we are having a serious problem. It is infested with bandits. Danao is totally awful now. I know. However, it used to be different. Yes, until a half a year ago. It was the same time Princess Emile began acting strange. Astrology also says there is some kind of relationship between my sister and the gay riches. And one more thing. The stars told me never hand over the moon. My sister will celebrate her 20th birthday soon. At the ceremony, the Tiburoa Nation National Treasure, the Moon Dagger, will be passed down to my sister, Emil. I assume the moon refers to that. The second divine moon object. It is linked with Lloyd. I have to find out the truth before the ceremony about the relationship between my sister Emil and the Gayrich gang. Would you please look into this for me? Oh, we will. We will. We have no reason not to because our original intention was to pursue the Gayrich gang. Thank you. I appreciate it. The dinner will be ready soon, Your Highness. Oh, it is already that late. Oh, I forgot about Fester. I left him in my room. 
I am expecting you there. King Zor also said to invite everyone. When you are ready, please let me know. I will take you to the din dining room. I was totally right about coming with you, Tart. I was expecting these things to happen. Right? I am looking forward to it. I wonder what I can feast on there. <laughs> oh, they're happy. Let's track her down. Oh, everyone, are you ready for dinner? Yes. We are ready. There ain't nothing else to do here. We can't do anything. Now, I will show you the way to the dining room. Good. Please make yourself at home. Ha 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 ha. Isn't she a great eater? It seems when girls become 20 years old, they develop quite an appetite. Oh, Fester, would you introduce our guest to Emil? Yes, Your Majesty. Oh, I didn't know you were here, Fester. Are you still wasting time on useless things? Those things with moons or stars? L let me introduce my friends, Your Highness. This, you and you. What, are you, what is your name? I'm Dart. I am Albert. It is a pleasure to meet you. You are cute guys. I like you. I am glad to hear that. And these... I didn't ask you about the others. Wow. Oh, please don't be insulted. Emil is a bit shy. I'm not shy. I don't like them. That's all. Hey, bring more food, will ya? Please enjoy your meal. I assume you are leaving early tomorrow morning. Where are you going? Well, they are saying that they want to go to the Valley of Corrupted Gravity. They understand the risk, so I have granted them permission. Ha! Huh, stupid guys. Come on, enjoy yourself. Let yourself go tonight. Yeah, like she is. Jesus. Can people change that much from only the shock of falling from a horse? I can produce the same impact with my fist. It won't work. Then with my hammer. It won't work either. Everyone, it is getting late. Please stay at the castle tonight. Thank you for your concern. It is fine. It is me asking you the favor. Have a good night. This way, please. I will show you the way to your bedroom. Oh, how thoughtful. like such formal feast, do you, Dart? Aren't you tired? I would rather practice with my sword. I didn't have enough to eat. Princess Emile stole my portion. Me neither, and I was looking forward to it. I understand Princess Lisa's hardship. But Princess Emile might lead us to Lloyd. The Moon Dagger is our guide. Everything leads to the Gay Rich. 
It all started with the Dragoon Spirit. We have to get it back quick, or it'll be too risky. You shouldn't have let it be taken to start with. Ooh, bad Rose. You are harsh, as always. There are some other ways to say that. Why don't you show a little smile, at least? I don't remember how to smile. Good night. I'm getting sleepy too. I'll get some sleep too. Good night, Sean. Won't you sleep? I'll be in danger if I go to sleep before dark. Okay. What are you talking about? And she says the same thing. Some people, sometimes they say different stuff. Sometimes they don't. Thinking about something? Being with you young people reminds me of Claire. What's she like? She had a strong will. She suffered by herself, decided things by herself. Same here. Call me a fond parent, but she looked like her beautiful mother. She was a strong fighter, but her heart was too sweet. It's the complete opposite of Miru. I am a strong fighter too. That's not the point. I only taught her how to use her fists, but I wish I could see her in a wedding dress. You can see me in a wedding dress. I'll be totally beautiful in that, don't you think? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. Miru does not have a mature charm. Hey, hey! Boring! I'm going to go to bed. I'll get some sleep too. stop you folks you can pass freely well thank you ah, the coming of age ceremony is a kind of rite of passage for the royal family but the most important princess is acting up you know so that could be a disaster <laughs> all right let's head on over this way I think we can say something to Kathy on the way out. I think I went in the wrong area. I did. Bad Ron. Bad Captain Ron. Hello? Don't you want to talk about something else? Like stars? How many times do I have to say it? I want to hear about Stardust, not just stars. I told you that if I don't know about it, nobody knows about it. So, don't you want to talk about something else? Oh, it's you. Hi, guys. You know him? Yes, I do. You're back again, but my boss is not in yet. 
you know what? I have a good idea. Chuck pushes her right in there. Here, she wants to talk about Stardust. Thanks. What was all that about? You must be the folks who bumped into me in Bale, aren't you? Sorry about that. It's okay. By the way, what were you talking about? Stardust? Hmm. You look like you've traveled all over the world. I might as well just ask you about it. Stardust is a miracle stone, and if you collect them all, your wish comes true. And I have a favor to ask you. Why don't you give me the stardust if you find some? Of course I didn't say for free. I'll give you something rare that I found on my journey in return. What do you think? Not bad, huh? You don't have to, but if you happen to find some on your journey, remember me, will ya? I decided to stay in this town for a while. Alright, Martel. It's hard to find Stardust, isn't it? I guess I knew that. I knew it, though. How about you? Nod and give her the 20 cent. 24 Stardust. Thanks! Thanks a million! In return, take this. It's the rare thing I promised you. Physical ring. Amulet. Okay. Thanks in advance for the next time. Physical ring. Raises HP up 50%. Amulet doubles your MP. Not bad. Okay. So, guys, we are ready to go to the Valley of Corrupted Gravity. Let's go ahead and make our way there. Got to go through the Barrens again. Actually... How much money do I have? 10402. Okay. I am going to make a pit stop. I am going to go back down to Sergio and I am going to go back to um, the, uh, the little town there next to the dragon's nest there. Hush, hush, die. More and more. Mm. Yeah. 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 Awesome storm. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back down to Sergio and uh, we're going to go to that shop there. Is it Lohan? I can't remember the name of the town right now. I'm sorry guys, I'm having a bad moment here. And we're going to go to that super shop and we're going to get something that's going to help Albert here real quick. We are going to have a majorly bad boss fight in the Valley of Corrupted Gravity, in case you guys didn't know. So we want to go south of Sergio. So we go north, that will be Hoax and the Swamp, and we don't want to go there. Oh, we were right there. Yeah. 
missed, but that's okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I do believe it was Lohan. Yes, the commercial town of Lohan. You guys will see what I'm talking about here in a second. Here's the second floor. I might if I can drive. There we go. The weapon shop here. All right. This is going to save your life from here on out for the rest of the game. If you decide to choose, use him. Oh yes, legend cast on Albert, because he is one of the worst magic defense people in this game. Even though it doesn't show it, but uh, right, but yeah, right here, he'll get 27 magic attack and 122 magic defense. Which is just fine with me. Armed with it, yes. Arm, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Arm it. There's a bracelet. Uh, I'll go ahead and, uh, yeah, we're we'll gonna get rid of the spirit ring. Now we're ready to go. Okay, guys. Well, it's time to go ahead back down. Go back to Tiparoa and get to the Baron so we can get to the Valley of Corrupted Gravity. Daisy. Tiberola. I expected that. the fights awfully in odd times here in the world map and sometimes it'll take you actually a few steps back from where you were on your way to so that I don't like Owie! about to level up here. Excellent. Alright, so the Barons. I will show you how to get to the Valley of Corrupted Gravity through the Barons. It's actually quite easy. Just 
turn this way. We're going to fight first. Get that taken care of. Big boy. It. Crud. Usually not like that, that bad. Mm. Excellent. Up, down, up, down. Scorpion. Sorry, my eyes droop for a minute. Oh, jeez. That was bad. Man, I missed that one entirely. Crud. Ah, I never did say I was an expert on these um, <clears throat> additions, but man. Ever since I started this gameplay, the, uh, in these upper ones, I'm never this bad. I used to be pretty decent with this. Maybe I'm just getting old. <laughs> All right, there's the Valley of Corrupted Gravity, guys, and you can see already it's kind of odd-looking. And it's floating. And we got a little frill dragon here. He moved twice. that kick that I always miss up. Alright. So, we've made it to the Valley of Corrupted Gravity, guys. That'll be our next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one here. Uh, learning a little bit about what's going on here in Tipper Row with the, with the Gay Rich Gang. The bandits might be related to the behavior of Princess Emil. And we had a meal with Emil, and that didn't turn out too good. And we met Princess Lisa. And we met the king. And uh, yeah, it was an interesting little background episode there to figure out kind of what's going on around Tiberoa. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode here. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, make any comment you guys want to comment, especially if it's about my bad edition play, then you, you go right ahead and tell me. Captain Ron, you thuck. That's fine. I'll take it. You guys go ahead. But uh, I will see you in the next episode, The Valley of Corrupted Gravity. And that one will not be fun. So, this is Captain Ron Phillips. I will see you guys next time, everybody. Take care. <laughs>